Hello, this is Lad May with Western Computer. We're going to talk today about setting up collections process automation. These are the topics that we'll discuss. We'll talk about what the module does functionally, and we'll talk about the four steps involved in setting it up. I had a customer come to me recently asking if the system could help automate their processes in the collections department. She wanted the system to send an email first for an overdue invoice, just five days past due, send a first gentle reminder email. At eight days, she wanted to send a second reminder, and at 15 days, she wanted to call the customer or escalate to the manager. And at 30 days, she wanted to call the customer again and warn of a pending order hold. This is exactly what this module is designed to do. So let's take a look at setup. The first piece of setup is customer pools. And you're going to use customer pools to drive your strategy and collections. And I've pulled up here the customer pool screen. Depending on your needs, you could decide you want to assign one of your collections agents to work through the A to M customers, and then another one to work through the N to Z customers. Another model might be, I want to have someone handle my zero to 30 days past due customer invoices, and then I want somebody else to handle 30 to 60 and so forth. As you go through these, you're going to define criteria based on exactly what you need here in customer pools criteria. The next step is to assign your collections agents. So I'm pulling up here collections agents. And you can see here I have several set up. I have my first agent here and I'm assigning this agent the zero to 30 day pool as a default. This is what they will see. This is what this agent would see when he pulls this up in the collections workspace. My next agent is going to handle the 30 to 60 day customers. And my next one is going to handle the 60 to 90 day customer invoices. And then finally, my over 180. The next step is to set up your collections process. So I have here collections process setup. And you see at the top of process hierarchy for one to 30 days, 30 to 60, 60 to 90 days, etc. And for each of these, you'll define a process. And here I've highlighted the one to 30 day process. And if you look down at process details, you can see that at five days past due, I want to send a reminder email. And that email is going to be based on a template that I set up off of the business document email template details down here below. And then at eight days, I'm going to send another email based on another email template. And at 15 days, I'm going to call that customer and see if we can work out a resolution over the phone. You can see here I have assigned follow-up calls for the 30 to 60 day activities and 60 to 90. So the system will send these emails automatically. And then for the activity action type, it's going to generate an activity that will show up in activities in the agent's collections workspace. Final step is to set up your process automations. So let's take a look at that. Here, I'm going to create a new automation process. For this company, I'm going to say create series and to find a new process. I want a batch to run every night at two in the morning. I want this to actually happen. Well, let's do it every day. I can set up alerts. I'm going to click next. This is a summary of what I've set up. And I'll click next. And here I can preview the process assignments for each of my stages here. And there it is. 
with a summary of the activities that have been scheduled. So that's it for the four-step setup for collections process automation. Thanks for listening today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via phone or email that's on the screen right now. Thanks very much.